rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So this is the family. This is Zoe, my daughter Lila, my husband Justin is behind the camera. Hello. And I am Mrs. Gleischer. Thank you for being us with us this morning and now for the weather. Today is Wednesday, April 29th and it is day four. The temperature in Wausau is expected to reach 56 degrees. Today is going to be cloudy but should stay dry for most of the day. It will be chillier than yesterday but not too cool. So get outside for a little bit today. If you can, would be nice. We're not sure what the next couple of days will be. Whatever activity you decide to enjoy, do not forget to keep social distancing and stay six feet away from others outside also. As for an indoor, maybe an outdoor activity, we have enjoyed painting our windows. You get a little Crayola paint, put a drop of water in, a drop of soap, you paint on any window, use a little Windex to wipe it down, it comes clean. But they light up the neighborhood, people have something to see when they walk around, it's a great thing to try. Attention eighth grade parents, if you would like a lawn sign for your graduating eighth graders, the deadline has been extended till May 4th. Mr. Schiffel will, will send you the flyers in the morning. Attention all students, if you would like to participate in the art club, please log into the Google Classroom using the code 52336. Mr. Schiffo will also email the code to your parents. Today is National Zipper Day. This day commemorates April 29th, 1913, when the patent for the modern zipper it took a few years to become the zipper we know of it and use today. In 1923, B.F. Goodrich popularized the word zipper using it in boots and patches. We don't even often think about our zippers and can be known to take them for granted. But we suggest you think about your zippers today and zip up proudly. It's time for our birthdays today. I could not start our birthday list without recognizing my daughter Zoe's 15th birthday. Happy birthday, Zoe! Yay. Yay. Celebrating birthdays in Wantar are Megan Cox and Joseph Merrow. Happy birthday, warriors! Our caring warrior today is someone special to our family. A few days ago, my mother-in-law was admitted to the hospital due to a fall. She lives upstate with her husband who is suffering from Parkinson's disease. After 48 hours in the hospital, she was cleared to be discharged, but there were no ambulettes or ambulances available to transport her home. We were searching for solutions as we wanted to get her out of the hospital as soon as possible. During our search, I was speaking with my sister when her ex-husband called on the line. She put me on hold to answer the call and it turned out he was leaving the very same hospital after retrieving his father's personal effects who had just passed away from COVID-19. He immediately pulled onto the side of the road and asked if he could help. He waited just under an hour for the hospital to discharge my mother-in-law so he could transport our home. He didn't care about the inconvenience or the virus risk of having someone who was just in the hospital for two days in his car. It was a complete selfless act, and we would like to show our appreciation by honoring him on this day as our caring warrior. Michael Zimmerman, we thank you and we love you. Thank you for being our caring warrior. We want to also continue to recognize some community members who are on the front lines, making sure that we are cared for and healthy. The following people are all WANTO graduates who are putting their own safety at risk to help others. Today's caring community members are Paul Fernandez, 
Wanta and Malvern Rescue, Danny Galgano, NCPD, and Eileen Skihan, Nurse. Thank you for all that you have done during these times. And now for a little treat. My husband Dustin and daughter Zoe will sing the Star Spangled Banner. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glared the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still Star Spangled Banner.